Good afternoon, everyone. Good morning, wherever you are in this world. My name is Alex Sigrist of Pangeo Techno Valley TV, and we're going to begin this 2022 September Pangeo Monthly Online Meetup. This is the Korea USA version, as we have our representative media company, tech media company, uh, Geekspin, who will be with us today. Thank you to everyone who is joining us. Um, we're going to go ahead and let um, Zenma Park from Prism take the floor because he does have to leave a little early. So we're going to just switch the order to the company uh, presentations and interviews first. We'll come back to a discussion of, of New York and Pongo towards the end, and then we'll wrap it up after that. Is that okay with everyone? Great. Thank you so much. All right. Uh, so uh, without further ado, I got to actually go visit one of these um, branches out here in Pangyo to get my eyes checked and do uh, something really interesting with, you know, not just 3D printing, which was the buzzword, you know, before, but now using AI technology with 3D printing um, and kind of doing something that in America isn't as easy to do without a doctor's prescription. Um, but, you know, that's my intro. And because of time, I think I'm going to see what how he's going to explain it first and then do this do a presentation. And then quickly we'll uh, go ahead and uh, talk to Helena and do something more. So first, the floor is yours. OK, thank you very much, Alex, for a uh, detailed introduction. And it's very nice to meet you, Helena. Uh, actually, we have a business development manager in New York City. So it's great to know that you're from New York, sixth generation. That's great. <laughs> OK, let me start with my, uh, my presentation. OK, uh, I'm Zemma Park, co-CEO and co-founder of Reason. And Prism is a personal eyewear brand disrupting the old and conservative eyewear industry and upgrading it to the next level. Actually, there are so many different uh, types and shapes, sizes of faces, but glasses have been manufactured under one size fits all philosophy so far. As a result, 72% of eyeglasses wearers in Korea are experiencing pains from ill-fitting glasses. Also, purchasing a pair of glasses has never been a pleasant experience. Even in this 21st century in Korea, you still have to bargain to buy a pair of glasses in Korea. So many people are complaining about this outdated consumer experience. And we believe that with the help of IT technologies, we can change and improve all of these problems up to next level. Prism has totally redesigned and redeveloped the way we buy a pair of glasses and the way how glasses are manufactured. So I will show you how we've changed the status quo of the glasses using the IT technology from now. If you visit our offline store, we first take a 3D scan of your face then we conduct an analysis on your facial measurement with 18 different factors. Compare this data with our 21,000 previous visiting consumers' facial measurements and their purchase data, and we come up with the style recommendations. You can try on these styles easily with our virtual fitting system, or you can actually also try on uh, the samples ready at the stores. You can also choose all the details like material and colors of temples, types of nose pads, etc. And now it's time for us to get busy. So our opticians work with our digital fitting system to redesign key details of eyewear for the perfect fit. We adjust the bridge size to fit your preferred distance, customize nose pads, and readjust the angles and lengths of the temple reflecting different location of ears. Because everybody has different positions for their ears and they complain from the pains with their temples often. So this personalized design data will be transferred to two of our factories. One is our 3D printing polymer frame factory, 
and another is a laser coating titanium frame factory. Our manufacturing process is so simple and efficient. We use industry, industrial uh, level powder-based 3D printer that can produce up to 200 different frames at a time. After 12 hours of 3D printing, we go through a sanding process for smoother surface and dyeing process for a variety of colors. Now a pair of breathing glasses are ready for you. Also, Prism is the world's most environmentally friendly eyewear. Because conventional eyeglasses are first manufactured and distributed to stores, so more than 50% of conventional eyeglasses are thrown away during distribution process. But we, at Prism, we manufacture per order, so we leave no extra inventory at all. Also, more than 90% of material is discarded in the process of a conventional acetate frame manufacturing process. But we only use the, the just amount of material for production. As a result, we can reduce the carbon footprint from glasses up to 95% versus conventional eyewear. And these are the pictures of the world's first titanium personal eyewear that we recently launched after three years of research and development. Our consumers are very much excited with this new product. And this led to 60% of a sudden increase of our monthly sales since last June. We have been growing exponentially for the last four years, started, started with 40 guests for the first month, and now we are serving 1,400 guests each month. And now we are operating six stores in a near Seoul, one including in, uh, in Pangyo area, and we will soon expand to 10 stores within this year. But our next target, the most important target is the US market. As you know, America is the country with best diversity of races, which means diversity of faces. But glasses in American market are made to fit majority Caucasian consumers. So minority people have a hard time finding right fit glasses at the, at the glasses store. And we really respect the diversity of America with our advanced technology. We just finished developing our mobile application. So consumers in the US can download our app from App Store and enjoy the fun and easy eyewear shopping online, which is designed exactly the same as the Korean consumers are enjoying at the shop. Every steps you can, <coughs> uh, sorry. <coughs> so you can first have a, your, uh, face scan, and we collect your facial measurement data and provide the style recommendation, virtual fitting, and you can also order your lenses for your optometrist prescription. And a pair of personal glasses made just for you will be delivered within three weeks. So after listening to all of our journey, you may wonder how young and small startup like Brisbane can make everything I mentioned in-house only for the last four years, the short time. Our co-founders group is consists of specialists who have deep understanding on each process of our supply chain. And we are consist of uh, eyewear craftsmen with 25 years of experience in this field and 3D printing data specialist and full stack CTO. And I have um, myself have uh, 16 years of uh, eyewear distribution experience. And also I'm a marketer. And also we have a branding expert as a co-founding member. So we have everybody who can cover all of our steps. So as a team, we have done our best to innovate the industry 
from the scratch, from the consumer's point of view. We are not selling glasses. We are your lifetime vision and look care partner. And we want to make the world brighter for everybody. Thank you so much. So this is it for my uh, presentation. And uh, if you have any, any question or any comment, I'd be more than welcome. No, thank you so much, Zenmo. That was great. Um, really appreciate you kind of explaining it way better than I could. Uh, but it's interesting to think about the differences in the US market and the Korean market and see how this might uh, play out once you really expand there. Uh, and because of that, I think well, we might have an interesting conversation between you and Helena right now. So um, if, if you have anything you want to say to Helena or vice versa, uh, the floor is for the both of you. And if not, I will jump in with some questions myself. Okay. Um, I do have a question. I, I don't know if you mentioned this or not, but how do the prescriptions work? Uh, for American consumers, you have to visit optometrist office to get the prescription, right? And you can either take a picture of the prescription or also you can input the data on the prescription and we will recommend you with a uh, suitable lenses. And then we, uh, we etch the lenses here in Korea and we'll send them to you in the United States. And, and usually and in lenses in Korea are much cheaper than those in, in America. So. Yep. Um, and, and, and in Korea, you can use the app to get a prescription? How does it work in Korea? Actually, in Korea, it's illegal to sell prescription lenses online. So Korean consumers have to visit offline store. Okay. But American uh, consumers can order online. So we just collect the prescription from consumers directly. And we yeah, etch the lens to fit the frame and send them to you in the States. Um, one last question for you, and then I'll let Alex take over. Um, what do you think is going to be your biggest challenge when entering the US market? Actually, we are, we are having a, a Kickstarter campaign at this moment to test the market. And uh, we have some hard time explaining ourselves because um, we are, like this concept of personal eyewear is new to the market. And most of the consumers are not actually recognizing what their problems are with their glasses because there has never been any other option. So it takes quite, a, quite an effort and uh, amount of knowledge to deliver what we are actually doing to consumers with, a, uh, for example, with a short like advertising campaign. So we need a lot of, I think we need a lot of PR activities to uh, educate the consumers that they have a better option and uh, to touch their amenities. So yeah, I think it, it takes a little bit of time and effort for, yeah, for us. And your help will be great. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it will be appreciated, Helena. Okay, well, great. Uh, Alex, go ahead. Oh, it's, it is interesting. In Korea, when you go to a lens store, you have to, but they have it on site usually. You can get the prescription checked out, right? Once you go to the glasses store, you can get checked out. Right, right. The difference between the US and Korea is that in US, you have to visit separate optometrist office to get lens prescription. But here in Korea, opticians, you can just visit the optician and you, have your, uh, you can have your eyes examined and prescription there as well. We don't have an optometrist system in Korea. So that's the difference. It'd be interesting to see if you could market it to tourists, to travelers from the United States, just because, you know, when you visit another country, if you go and buy those countries' products, you can save money and it's like saving money on your plane ticket almost. Mm -hmm. um, but I know it's really expensive in the States to visit a doctor if you don't have insurance and then get prescriptions. So that'd be interesting to see as well. Um, yeah, uh, we're nearing 11 o'clock. Uh, I guess I, because I know you and, and I got to visit the company, I already asked you a lot of questions already, um, but I, I think it would, I I'm curious to see how you will market it 
to Americans because to me, you struck a chord when you said, you know, I don't know what I'm looking for. And with glasses and actually with fashion, I have no idea about fashion. I just know when something is wrong, but I don't know what looks good. Um, but before that, I never really knew how to judge what good glasses looked like on me. So I, I was wondering, are, do you have a particular plan when it comes to marketing? Is it through social media? Is it through um, news outlets, organizations? What would be your plan to reach that American audience? Okay, um, actually, uh, the best luck we had was that uh, the iPhone has adapted the true depth camera for face ID. And with that functionality, we can 3D scan the consumer's face using their iPhone. So the steps are very easy and uh, we can collect a lot of data. So we are thinking about developing a like sort of entertainment app that consumers can play with. So they can have their facial scanned and we can either recommend some styles or some mask for fun, like a, for example, for a Halloween mask, something like that, or also something like a face, face reading. So this type of fun uh, activities, I think we can uh, invite consumers to download our app. And that's one, one, one of our uh, strategy to apply in the future. But I think the most important uh, message we can, we can spread out is that the importance of uh, well-fitting glasses because especially uh, in America, I have met a lot of consumers, at, especially at the CES 2022, complaining about uh, their noses. So Caucasians have too high nose, so their uh, glasses are sitting way too high. And the lenses are made to fit the distance from your eyeball within like 12 millimeter. But most of Caucasian uh, people with a high nose have uh, more than 20 millimeter. And with that problem, they cannot actually uh, fully utilize the function, function of the lenses because what they are seeing is actually smaller than they are, uh, their optimist metrics that has uh, given the prescription. So this type of uh, problems can be fixed with our technology. So in Korea, we are making alliance with, uh, with uh, ophthalmo ophthalmology doctors to spread out this message that wearing good fitting glasses is good for your clear vision. Okay. I had no idea, but that makes a lot of sense about the nose. <laughs> thank, uh, thank you so much. Um, I know you're a busy person, you, you do have to go, but I really appreciate you taking part in this monthly meetup. All right, thank you very much. I, I'm so sorry to leave you early. Yeah. <laughs> oh, please. Yeah. Good thank luck with you. everything. Yep. Thank you. Bye-bye.